I do want to start with this, however, because, you know, there's a big story with the warmth and the wind, but we got to talk about the fire risk, all right? And there's a reason why. There's red flag warnings in place, and that is for an elevated fire danger because we have been dry for a really, really long time. We haven't had beneficial rain in a while. The air, the relative humidity is very dry, very low, all right? And then you combine that with gusty winds today, if you got some open burning going on, that wind just fans the flames and things can spread real easily. So that's why that is in place. Meanwhile, we have about 44 counties in the state that are under active burn bans, and that may even increase today and tomorrow with the dry air in place and the windy weather that we're expecting. These are the forecasted wind gusts. It stays just below wind advisory criteria, but look, I think we could get gusts 40 miles per hour at times through the afternoon, morning and afternoon. So just be aware that is all coming out of the south. So watch the east-west roads here. Uh, but this is going to be, uh, again, not a huge problem, but it's enough to be annoying uh, for sure if you're going to be spending some time outside. If it's trash day for you, keep that in mind as well. Live look out of the speedway. It is cloudy in spots, 63 degrees. Winds are picking up out of the south at around 10. Around the metro area, low 60s, pretty common. 63 Greenfield and Anderson at 60. 65 Muncie, 68 in Bloomington. The winds are picking up. These are the gusts around 20 to 25 miles per hour. Again, these will continue to increase, especially once we hit daybreak in that four o'clock hour. Once we get some daylight out, that really kind of helps to increase the wind speed. But again, look at the strong pull from the south and west. And this is where we're tapping in to those temperatures. So that's going to allow for the big boost today, 80 for our high. That is 20 degrees above average. And very close to today's record, we'll be watching 81. That was set back in 1922. 80s throughout the state. And if you don't get there, you're going to be awfully close. Places like Richmond around 78. But Fort Wayne at around 80, 81. Columbus, Madison, Bloomington could have up to around 83. And Lafayette and Terre Haute in the western portions of the state. Very mild, very breezy tonight, 62. For the overnight low, I think we are again on record watch for tomorrow. Wednesday's forecasted high 81. The record for tomorrow is 82. That was set back in 1950. And again, breezy, maybe not as windy, but I do think we could see wind gusts exceeding 30 miles per hour at times for your Wednesday. Storm Track 8 Futurecast. What will bring an end to this near record heat is a cold front arriving Wednesday night into Halloween. This will bring scattered showers to our area. Now, I lean more toward morning and afternoon hours for rain, but I do have to bring in a mention of at least some stray showers that might be around during trick or treat hours. All right, I don't think it's going to be a washout. And actually, temperatures shouldn't be too bad. A little breezy, but not super windy. I'm going to say mid-60s early on, lower 60s by around 8 o'clock in the evening. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that. But right now, I'm leaning toward the better rain chances being a little bit earlier than the trick-or-treat hours. Hensley Legal Group 7-day forecast. We are going to cool it back quite a bit for Friday, but I think we are going to be dry and quiet, and the winds will relax. 57 for your high for high school football for we, uh, night number one of Taylor Swift. I think most of the weekend's going to be okay. 64 uh, on Saturday especially should be a good day. Partly cloudy skies. Sunday there is a slight chance for showers. 68 degrees and rain chances continue with warming temperatures for Monday of next week and highs into the mid 